so in this tutorial i will explain how to make this 3d text in davinci resolve so first of all grab a fusion composition onto the timeline from the effects menu now head over to the fusion page press shift plus space and add a background node now select the background node and add a merge node and connect it to the media out now again press shift plus space and search for text 3d and add it to the node tree now search again for the renderer 3d node and add it and select the text 3d node and press shift plus space and add a merge 3d node over here connect the renderer 3d node to the merge node now go to the text type any text and select any font that you would like and adjust the size and position of the text now close the effects menu here because we will use two viewers drag the merge 3d node and open it into the first viewer now go to the 3d text menu and go to the extrusion menu here and and increase the extrusion depth as much as you like now press shift plus a space again and open this menu and search for directional light and as you can see in the viewer one there is a light over here and we will change the position of the light so that it will affect our text you can change the position of the light with these handles over here if you don't know how to move in the 3d space here are some of the shortcuts that you would like to use to move around in the 3d space pause the video and take a screenshot now go into the transform tab of the directional light and change the position of the light now as you can see on the second viewer there is no difference even after adding the light so we would need to change a setting over here so select the renderer 3d and enable lighting over here so now you can see that there are shadows because of the light we have created now we will select the directional light again and make a copy of it by using the shortcuts of copy and paste and connect both of the lights to the merge 3d node over here now we will go into the 3d space and put the second light so that it is on the opposite side of the first light over here and we will also change the direction of the light from the transform so right now i am not satisfied over here with the extrusion depth so i will increase the extrusion depth over here from the text 3d node now you can play around with the settings of the transform tab to adjust the lighting on to the text now select text 3d and go to the shading tab over here select the type from solid to image and change the image source to clip and click on browse and select any picture that you would like to use as an overlay for the 3d text so i am using this wallpaper right over here and you will have this really cool looking 3d text and you can play around with the setting of the lighting to get different types of effects from the light so i think i am satisfied with the lighting of the text now you can also add a glow node over here and play around with the settings as much as you like So now I will animate this 3D text. So select text 3D, go into the transform tab and select word from the transform menu and I am adding keyframes to the rotation over here. You can keyframe anything that you would like. I am also going to add some keyframes to the size here. I will also go into this spline tab over here and make some keyframes smooth 
by selecting all the keyframes and pressing S. Yes. You can also add motion blur to the text by selecting merge node here and enable motion blur from the settings menu. As you can see my PC is struggling to play that so I would recommend to use render cache on the edit page which will help you to play back the 3D text animation. Now let it render the cache and there you go you will have this really cool 3D text effect after your render cache is completed. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.